Hi there, welcome back to the shop. Today on Dubro 101, we are gonna be using Easy Mount Cowl System. So the long and short of it is that if you have a cowl that you need to mount to your model, this is the easiest and securest way that I've ever come across and it creates a nice clean installation that you don't have to do much cleanup work with. So the basic tools that you're gonna need to accomplish this is just a basic screwdriver set, an Allen key set, and a drill and a drill bit set. To really show you up close and personal, I'm again gonna take the tripod down and bring you around to where I'm gonna be working so that you can see the instructions on the card included in the packaging system, as well as the work involved in making the, the cowl mount system work. All right, so the first thing I want to go over is the parts that you have included in the kit. There are a bunch of screws and molded plastic pieces, and it's important that we go over each one and know that they are different. You have the main white plastic standoffs here, and these are the, the pieces that will actually connect the cowl to your model. So make sure you put those together and set them aside and know that they are all together. We also have the white washer pieces, as well as these molded black rubber pieces. And then we have a bunch of screws. It's important to know that there are different types of screws included in this. There are two separate heads, and it's important to note that they are separate. These hex head screws are used on the outside of your model. It creates a more finished surface, but it also allows you to use a hex driver, which is less prone to slipping when installing or uninstalling your cowl. With your hardware all sorted, let's go over the instruction card. The basic diagram shows you the layout that you're going to approach this with. You're gonna have an assembly of the different parts, the plastic washer, the rubber mounts, as well as the bracket and screws. Now note that there are two screws that attach to the firewall and one screw that mounts to the cowl. This correlates with the single screw on one side of the angle bracket and the two holes that are elongated on the other side of the angle bracket. There are specific sizes specified in the instructions for the different drill bits you need to use for the different size kits that you have. The easy mount cowl system I'm using is for the 20 to 90 size aircraft, so I'll be using the ones that correlate to catalog number 998. So the first thing that we need to do is install the cowl mounts to the cowling. Since my cowl is a bit of an odd shape right now because I still need to replace some wood as part of this restoration project, I'll only be initially installing two cowl mounts in these approximate locations. The diagram has you sometimes overlap the cowl with the fuselage, but in my particular case, I will be doing a butt joint up against the fuselage since it was this piece of wood was cut free from the fuselage. So please note that difference as well. In my particular case, I can use the wood as a means to create an imprint from the plastic piece so that I have a place to drill. If I were to approach this type of a cowl, I would definitely be measuring exactly where I need my cowl to sit and then measuring an offset of where the mount needs to be drilled. So as you can see, I've got already one mount put in place. So I'll show you how these mounts assemble. We'll start with the plastic washer. We'll add the flat rubber washer and a screw to hold that all together. Now we have the other rubber washer that has a ridge around the center, as well as our angle piece. The ridge washer goes on the angle piece like this. then the rubber will plug into the hole that you drilled in your cowl. 
Then the screw goes in through the top. And screw it in. Again, you don't have to do this too tight because there are the rubber isolators that uh, are part of the mount system. So you don't need it to be too terribly tight, uh, just enough and snug it in place. Now we're gonna move on to step two. We're gonna place our cowl with the mounts attached onto the firewall and we're gonna mark the position on the firewall with a pencil. Then we'll move on and drill those holes using a 532nd drill bit for hardwood plywood or a 564th inch drill bit for softwood or, or plywood. I'm gonna be using the 332nd inch drill bit. Uh, I'm gonna be going into some pretty thick plywood here. So then after that, it's, it's sort of like a, just disassemble it all and reassemble it all, but in a different order. So then we're going to apply the mounts to the firewall first and then install the mount to the permanently affixed mount. Make sense? Well, it'll make sense here in a minute. All right, so now that I'm sort of to this point, I've, I've gone and lightly adjusted over here, but I still need to add two more screws. The cowl mounts can be adjusted to properly position cowl. So that's sort of what I did. I put the cowl on to see where the holes line up and adjust it to where they need to be. Uh, and now I install cowled cowl mounts using the button head Allen screws applied. I'm not there just yet. I'm going to drill out these screws and then I'll be able to do that. All right, so with the, uh, the two initial mounts that I have installed, I can go ahead and start rebuilding this portion of the cowl itself, and I can use these beams on the internal part here to make mounting points for additional ones. So that's kind of the nice thing about these is that they're small and individual and customizable as well. Now the cool thing also about the nylon portion up top is that it creates a sandwich on the wood so you don't have to worry too much about crushing the wood or plastic that might be brittle or wearing out or rounding out. But what's also nice is you can paint match these. Uh, put a little bit of primer on the nylon washer and you'll be able to easily paint match whatever it is you're going to put on the cowl. Uh, you can also put some iron-on covering on that as well. A little more tricky, a uh, little bit finicky on that, but it is possible. I've seen it done before. Well, that's all there is to it. I hope you find these step-by-step -step instructions useful so that you can install your own cowls on your airplanes and maybe find another reason to use them for another purpose. Share those purposes in the comments below so that we can see them and so that your fellow modelers can understand how to do it too. Until next time, make sure that you check out Dubro.com for all of your hobby hardware needs.